Good morning, Trinity and friends. It's good to be together on Wednesday, May 13th. And uh, today I'm going to talk for a moment about uh, kind of an irony that we, we have in our, in our journey. And that is that sometimes it is suffering or a sense of uh, things being out of balance. It's a sense of things uh, not being where we want them to be, uh, suffering, trials. It's those very things that can create within us an attitude toward God or a door that opens. Um, Brian McLaren is a, is a writer, a Christian leader. He put it like this. He said, when we call out for help, we are bound more powerfully to God through our needs and weaknesses, our unfulfilled hopes and dreams, and our anxieties and problems than we ever could have been through our joys, successes, and strengths alone. He says, anxieties can gray the whole sky like cloud cover or descend on our whole horizon like fog. But when we rename our anxieties, in a sense, we distill them into requests. What covered the whole sky can now be contained in a couple of pockets. So when we're suffering from worry, we can begin by simply holding the word help before God, letting that one word bring focus to the chaos of our racing thoughts. Once we feel that our mind has dropped out of the frantic zone and into a spirit of connection with God, we can let the general word help go and its place and in its place hold more specific words that name what we need. So we might hold the word guidance before God or patience or courage or resilience or boundaries, mercy, compassion, determination, healing, calm, freedom, wisdom, or peace. So it seems to me as we continue our journey through this uh, COVID crisis, one of the ways, one of the blessings we find is that the very sense of uneasiness or anxiety or worry opens a door between us and God, which otherwise, otherwise we might never have felt the need for or noticed the need for. And certainly right now is a time when we continue to need that sense of God's indwelling presence and steadying hand in our lives as we continue to work through this, as we certainly will. There's a, a, a group, a gospel quartet group called Narrow Way that I kind of discovered early in this crisis. And one of their songs is, I have found especially helpful. So I want to play it for you now.
So teach my song to rise to you. When temptation comes my way, and when I cannot stand, I'll fall on you. Jesus, you're my hope and stay, and when I cannot stand, I'll fall on you. Jesus, you're my hope and stay. That was good, wasn't it? Well, let's uh, have a prayer together. Dear Lord, we thank you that in the midst of May, we can come before you with every care and concern during this continued time of turmoil and uncertainty and crisis. And we bring our, our hearts to you and our minds because we do need you. We need you to guide the way to strengthen each one of us, to care for those who are in special need. And we remember those who are suffering. And we remember those who are on the front line of this crisis. And we pray and commend all to your care this day through Jesus Christ, who has taught us in prayer to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Have a good day, and take care.